Hi and welcome along to our Arsenal Fan TV AFTV Transfer Daily Special where on this show I thought that we had to do this because uh, the news has reached us today that Abu Dhabi has been released by Arsenal after nearly 10 years at the club. Um, Diaby, who was an enormous talent, signed from Auxerre, came to Arsenal. Many people thought to themselves, this guy is going to be the new um, Patrick Vieira at Arsenal. But his whole career at Arsenal has been absolutely blighted by injuries. And um, you know what? A lot of people today are looking on it and they're thinking to themselves, good riddance, Abu Diaby. Other people are looking on it and they're looking on it with sadness. I'm looking on it with sadness. And I'm going to tell you why in a minute. But Abu Diaby was a player that, as I said, was so talented, but came to kind of epitomise the sort of injury situation that we've had at Arsenal over the years, which has been absolutely horrific, especially when you compare it to a lot of the other Premier League teams. And I kind of it kind of dates back to 2006 when, and I'll never forget that game when the RB was playing in a match against Sunderland, and uh, one of the Sunderland players went by the name of Dan Smith committed an absolute horror tackle on the RB, just sived through him and broke his ankle, and it, it, I mean it was a severe um, fractured ankle which. Basically, Abu Dhabi has never, ever got over. And throughout his career at Arsenal, it's just been a matter of injury after injury. And listen, a lot of people out there, as I said, they look on it and they say, well, Diaby, you know, injury prone. But the guy just never, ever got going because of injuries. I mean, let's just take a look at some of the injuries he suffered throughout his career at Arsenal. If you look at the stats, um, the stats that you can get on Transfer Market, for instance, that said that the RB spent 1,244 days on the treatment table, which equates to three and a half years or almost a third of his time at Arsenal. Now, that's absolutely unbelievable. 40 separate injuries he had um, and two bouts of illness. and it just meant that his career at Arsenal was just completely blighted by injury. Injury after injury after injury that just meant that he could never get going at the club. And the worst thing about it is that we all knew at Arsenal just how talented this guy was. But he'd come back, injury again. He'd come back, injury again. And as I said, just never, ever got going at the club. I mean, another stat that you look at is that Diaby played in just 124 of Arsenal's 360 league games since he joined. So that's incredible. Um, scored 14 goals, 10 assists, average only 62 minutes on the pitch when he played. 62 minutes. And that equates to just 24.2% of the time that he was playing for Arsenal, that he was actually on the pitch. Now, that is an absolutely unbelievable statistic and i'm sure you guys have all seen the the injury caption that regularly goes round um when people talk about drb which sort of outlines all of his injuries i mean look at that you can see it there knee injury 2013 march 20 i mean it's just injury after injury uh calf muscle injuries Lots of hamstring injury injuries, and a lot of that was to do if he he come back off of one injury, and because he hadn't been training right, or probably you know he'd been out of the game for so long, he'd then get another injury, ankle injuries. He never, as I said, got over that ankle injury, calf strains, muscle strains, thigh muscle strains, and sprained ankle, and then even last season when a lot of us thought that you know maybe this could be the time when um DRB gets to get back in the team, yet again, injured again. And it, as I said, has been so, so sad um, in his career. And the reason why I say sad is that, as I said, there's a lot of fans out there, as I said, that are saying, good riddance, Abu Dhabi. What did you do? He was just at our club. He just took the money. And I, Listen, I really feel, the reason why I really feel sorry for Abu Dhabi is that 
Nobody can tell me he's a professional footballer. Not only is he a professional footballer, he's a very, very talented footballer. He was a French international. He would have been a fixture in Arsenal's team. That's why Arsene Wenger kept faith in him all these years, because he wanted him to come through. And could you imagine how frustrating that must have been over the years? Because you know what? You're getting money at first, but these are professional footballers. It's not just about the money for them. They want to be out there playing football. And that's what the guy would have been doing from he was a little kid. And basically, he was robbed of that. He was unable to play football, not because he didn't want to play football, because purely because of injuries in his career. And now it's all come to an end. As I said, Arsenal, to, to Arsene Wenger's credit, he's tried and he's tried to, you know, keep faith in, in Abu Dhabi. He even said last season, you know, that he's trying to get him back. He's maybe do it by a game by game. There was even rumours that the RB was saying, listen, only pay me if I play. It all looks like it's come to an end now. I mean, it, it, as a matter of fact, even though they've released it, that he's been one of the released players, um, Rio Miyachi, also another one, um, Arsenal could actually take an option where they say, all right, listen, we're going to still sign you on. But it looks highly unlikely. Looks like his career's over. I really don't know where he goes from here either because which other club is really going to take the RB, you know, when you consider um, his injury list. And what I really hope is that the RB doesn't go out of the game. Um, I think that he must have a real mental toughness to have sat on the sidelines for so much of his career. And there's going to be a lot that he may be able to pass on to other footballers that go through injuries. And I hope he doesn't go out of the game. I hope he stays in the game in some capacity I hope maybe he gets into coaching or something because there have been many stories of players that were playing and got injured. I think Alex Ferguson um, got a serious injury and then ch um, turned to coaching and management. I hope Abba Diaby does that and just doesn't just give up on football completely. And uh, who can forget one of the best moments? That, that this is a bit of fun, but one of the best moments that Abba Diaby. <laughs> Gave Arsenal fans in his career. I shouldn't really be doing this, but it was, it was, it did cheer up a lot of Arsenal fans at the time. <laughs> but um, as I said, it's very, very sad. Abu Dhabi released by Arsenal today. And all I'd like to say is uh, thank you to Abu Dhabi for your time at Arsenal. I know it was unsuccessful. Um, we know the injuries blighted it, but just want to wish him all the best in the future and hope that one day he comes back in the game. This has been an AFTV transfer special on Abu Dhabi. <laughs>